Welcome back on the channel. Today I've got something special for you because today we're doing a speed run of Arch Linux installation with Hyperland. And uh, to mix it up a little bit, I'm not doing VirtualBox today, but the configuration will be the same. On VirtualBox, you just have to install um, VirtualBox guest utils no X at the installation step of Arch install as additional installation package, then it will be the same. And in my opinion, this is one of the best configurations you can do because it's versatile and you can even install um, additional systems like um, window managers like Sway or something besides Hyperland in the end. And we need Reston because SDDM supports only Reston as um, a window composer. So um, what you will have to do is I'm here on Windows 11 on my new gaming PC. And uh, to get Hyper-V running on Windows 11 Home Edition, you will need the script here, which downloads Hyper-V. And I can just um, show you here. If you go into uh, the Windows Feature tab, then Hyper-V will here appear when you install the script and you can just uh, install it. You have to reboot once so that the network um, configuration for Hyper-V is loaded. And what I can do now is I can um, here open the Hyper-V manager and um, here we are now doing a configuration for a new virtual computer. And the computer will be named Arch Linux. And we will have a generation 2 machine and we will have um, 8 gigabytes of RAM here. And we don't want to allocate that dynamically. And we want to have the default switch. And uh, we can do here the configuration as he wants it to do. But I don't want to have it in that path. I have here a path for my virtual machines. And I want to install from an ISO. So I've downloaded the newest ISO before I started this um, uh, recording here. And now the only thing you have to do is um, you have to disable the secure boot option here. So Hyper-V is normally configured uh, to install Windows machines. You, If you have secure start activated, you can even um, add this machines um, to an active directory or a corporate network. So, but we don't want that today. We want to install Arch Linux today. And now I can start the machine here and um, uh, I can connect myself to the machine. And we've got here the UEFI installation boot screen of the ISO. And what I now will do is I will just do a quick Arch install installation with Hyperland. And that's, that's uh, from now on is the same steps um, that you will do on a uh, normal Arch installation in VirtualBox. So the first thing here is I will um, get a mirror near myself here. Then we will not set that. I want to have grub as a bootloader. I want to set a root password. I want to have a user account. And yes, he should be a um, user for the pseudo group. I want to install Hyperland here. We use Polkit. And SDDM, I want to have Pulse Audio, I want to have additional packages, and this will be um, Western and Foot. And I want to copy over the ISO network configuration, and we want to have the time zone set up. So this is my time zone here. And um, what is missing? Of course, the disk configuration is missing. I stepped over that. I will just take the whole disk with better FS here and then I can install and here we go. So 
if you never installed Arch Linux um, from uh, by hand from the wiki and have done the um, installation without Arch install, I can highly advise uh, you do the installation by hand first because you can learn uh, quite a lot from that uh, installation and it's really fun to do. But um, I've done that uh, just now on the channel. So if you want to uh, follow the installation that I've done, look that up on the channel. You will find it in the um, computer science playlist also on my channel. So I think this will here um, go quite uh, quick because uh, at this time of the day, uh, no one else is on my network here at home. So I get the maximum bandwidth that's available. So and uh, the download here uh, perhaps is uh, the uh, most uh, or the, the longest we have to wait. I can explain what I will do here from now on. So um, first of all, I have to configure SDDM. That's the next, next thing we will do. I will then create two start scripts just to inject um, the uh, configuration settings that we need to run Wayland in uh, a software um, rendering mode so that we don't need the um, GPU drivers and so on. So this here is uh, the real error, no hardware cursors, is that the cursor gets rendered in software and the second one, VLR renderer allows software is so that Wayland gets rendered in software. And we have to use Reston because uh, SDDM only supports Reston as a compositor. And the other thing is then we do a start script for Hyperland and add that to the Wayland sessions menu. So if you later want to, for example, add uh, BSP WM or want to add i3 or uh, of course, then you need Xorg installed um, or want to install a Sway. Then um, if you want to install Sway, it's uh, the same script. But here, of course, then instead of Hyperland, you add a Sway. And uh, here the exec is then Sway. And you can then install things beside um, Hyperland on your system. The old configuration that I've done, there I injected uh, the export settings directly here in the configuration file. And the problem with that is that you can't um, yeah, uh, use the system then STDM for anything else um, than the um, configuration of Hyperland. So here I'm rebooting. And now I'm not rebooting because I have to um, first uh, uh, no not like that i want to shut down the machine so um with hyper v i don't know how you uh, uh yeah get rid of the iso the fastest way so what i will do is i will just tell him to boot from the drive and now we can boot into the computer without the iso and start arch here So here's grab and now I will start into SDDM, but um, this won't work to start the system from there because we have to, who I started it two times? No. Why isn't he starting now? Okay, so there it is. Um, just a minute to think about everything. So if I do here um, Hyperland, nothing will happen. He will uh, push me back uh, to the um, SDDM session. What I do is with Control Alt F3, I'm going into another TDY here and uh, log in. And what I will now do is just follow my. Um, uh, no, the first thing I will do is I will load the keys so that I can type. Um, and of course, I need to do that uh, with sudo. So, and now I will do the things that I've noted here. So, mkdir, and we want to have that in um, etsy sddm conf d. So, that's just the path that we need for the configuration. 
And now I will copy over the configuration file from user lib and then it's sddm and then it's sddm conf conf d and then it's the default and we want to have that in etsy and then sddm conf the uh, path that just created and uh, what we now do is um, i can just take the path from here i want to sudo nano that file and it's called default and what we want to do here is we want to add wayland instead of x11 wayland and the other thing we want to do is in the wayland configuration part we want to where is it uh, here, instead of uh, calling Preston direct, we want to call a script that we have to write. So what I will do here is I will just in my um, there it is. Um, in my uh, now I am uh, out. Uh, yeah, in my home directory, and I will just call it start Western um, and then dot sh. Is it like that? Yeah, I think that's uh, correct. What I want to do here, and uh, now we have to create uh, that file, of course. Um, so. And one thing I want to test is, can I copy over something here? No, of course not. Um, so we have to type that quickly and it's um, bin env. And we want to have sh here and I export and that's here for first the xdg thing. So current and then it's desktop is resting in this case and also we export xdg and then it's session and then it's desktop here and that one is also western and the xdg session type that one is uh, wayland and what we want to export and that are the two um, um, really important things you have to export because otherwise um, you won't get it to work even um, uh, here in this uh, hyper-v machine and also on your um, uh, virtual box machine so cursors is one hardware cursors yeah just looking for typos but uh, it seems all right so will air and renderer and the renderer uh, allow software so that wayland can be rendered in software and then we have to exec uh, western and that's the same um a call that we had in the stdm config file so we can just copy that over here um, full screen shell dot so and uh, now we are done here with the script so i will just um, save the buffer here to that file and what i can now do is i just copy that over to start um, hyper land dot sh and i can nano start hyperland sh here and uh yeah there's a typo here so like that and what i now have to do is i just have to switch western to hyperland uh, hyperland with a capital um h that's important wayland uh, we will keep there and we don't exec western here we just exec uh, hyperland and we can save that one so 
now we are here done with this creation and what we have to do now is we have to um, tell him where to exec um, this script and that's under user share Wayland sessions and uh, here it's in um, hyper no is it not in user share Wayland sessions okay i have to look into that uh, pass um ah here it is with uh um with uh, not capital h so what we do is we remove the rest in session from here um so let's do that first because otherwise the rest in uh, desktop session will be in the menu and uh, of course i don't want that and um no i don't want that i have to I have to do that with writes here. And uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to um, nano here into this Hyperland uh, desktop configuration. So it's here, um, Hyperland. And what we want to do here is, I don't know why you have to do that, but I know that I have to um, rename this. So it's Hyperland uh, Wayland, uh, for example. And the other thing is we don't exec uh, this here and we will exec, um, let's see, um, in the home directory, we do start uh, Hyperland here, dot sh. So, yeah that's uh written and now of course we have to do um ch mod for the two scripts so that they are executable so this is um start uh western and the same for start hyperland yeah, and now we have to do the Hyperland configuration. So the first thing, um, ah, here's one thing I forgot um, to do. I have to first copy over the configuration file. Let's see if it is already there, but I think it's uh, not there. So config hyper and then Hyperland. Okay, so it is there because we start, we tried to start Hyperland once. Um, if you did not uh, try to start Hyperland, then it won't be copied over. But in the Arch Wiki, you will find the path and you can copy it over um, on your own or you just, um, as I did, uh, try to start Hyperland once and then are pushed back into SDDM. So at the first start, Hyperland Hyperland will copy this config file over if it's not available in this path. So, and what we want to do is we want to configure this to use um, foot instead of a kitty here. And uh, I won't uh, configure anything else at this moment um, so that it's just here a quick thing, the minimal thing you have to do. And I sudo reboot so that SDDM can read all the configurations. And if we have no typos in the system, then it should now work everything. So here is our Hyperland Wayland in, uh, um, Hyperland Wayland uh, configuration insert. So the, the menu point is there and uh, we can start. And now we're into Hyperland. And as it is the first time that it starts, uh, you get this uh, yellow message and you can get rid of that if you con um, configure the Hyperland conf uh, first. And um, let's see if I do super Q, nothing happens. Okay, it just uh, needed a, a second. So let's do um, here just a quick configuration. Okay, so this is really slow in Hyper-V. So why is he doing that? Hmm. 
Okay, so Z is really something. I don't understand, but that's here. Uh, that's definitely a problem um, of. Uh, um, that's really a problem here of uh, how is this called of of the Hyper V machine. Um, so we just exit out here, and I take an TTY to config that. I will uh, disable the um, acceleration. Let's do it here. And what I want to do is, what was the thing I wanted to do? I uh, disable the acceleration here. So animations enabled, we don't want to have the animations enabled. So this here is a false then. And what's, what else do I wanted to do? Ah, I wanted to comment out uh, this uh, yellow thing. So if you have here auto-generated um, one, you can just um, comment this line, for example, or... Um, um like that and uh i can get uh, back here to the um to the session and uh now it doesn't work anymore why not I think um, we just have to wait a moment so that he can load everything. Hmm. There's nothing about, ah, yeah. So there it is. So oh, that's a problem I had um, a time before. Uh, that's uh, the thing I know that this could happen. Um, I think that's just one time um, after adding this, uh, editing this setting. So the next time I think it will be uh, the normal way again. So and now let's see if I could type normally here. Yeah, that works quicker. And let's see if I could use the history. Okay, I think he has done something and it's really slow here in Hyper-V. So that was much better in VirtualBox, but I think that's because um, Hyper-V doesn't have uh, a 3D acceleration um, in, in this configuration. So let's see, I will just close the session here. And um, yeah, what else can I say? Um, if you do it in VirtualBox, it will run better um, like this. And uh, in my opinion, this is the whole thing um, that I wanted to show. And uh, now we've done uh, this configuration also in Hyper-V. Um, but in my opinion, the real way to go is um, install Hyperland on a real machine. Perhaps do this just as a practice. Um, to try it out and then you don't need this whole uh, configuration steps this is really only for vm um, to get everything running and uh, yeah so have fun with your configuration have fun installing linux and thank you for watching and bye